Once upon a time, there was a great wizard who was the wisest of them all, and his pet llama, Leroy the White. Together, they ruled the land, and his people were happy. But that all changed when Chickenpox swept the land, destroying all of his people, including his beloved Leroy the White. An angel descended from the heavens and spoke to the great wizard. Follow me to a land where evil has no name, Sirenia. And he was greeted by his loved ones, and together they lived forever in Sirenia. For this year's nominations, we go to the. Beautiful Gracie. Why, thank you, James. <laughs> You're welcome, Gracie. The Teddy Award nominees for Best Director are James Camembert. Ooh. Steven Spielberg. Ooh, Spielberg. Akira Berasawa. <sighs> and lastly, Tom Kazan. Ooh. And the winner is Gracie. Ooh. The winner We is. We can't wait. The bear's fur is standing on end. The winner is Tom Kazan. Kazan. Yay! Look at the camera. Put the log where the teddy is. Johan Wiener. Wiener, Dad, it's Wiener. Save me, Indy. <laughs> Indiana Smith. Let her go, Wiener. Any last words? <laughs> Death is the next great adventure. Let us fight. <laughs> I love you. I know. Cut. It's a great day of filming today, Tom. Yeah, I didn't know that we were going to be Indiana Jones and uh, his sidekick. But you love that, honey. Come on, Dad, one more, one more. Monster, monster, monster. All right, 
One more. One more. Okay. Movie. Two words. Okay. Peter Pan. Thing. Here we go, this one, this one. Okay. Circle. Moon. It's a rocket. It's a rocket. It's going up. <laughs> Oh, it's a rocket to the moon. <laughs> oh, man. You said you were good at this. <laughs> a trip to the moon. Oh, a trip to the moon. It was a trip. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you told me that. We would have been here all oh, night. Man. You're talking to me? Hmm. I'm talking to you. You're talking to me. Yeah, I am talking to you. You come here. Yeah. To my house. On the day of my daughter's wedding. It's in box. <laughs> good to see you, mate. Well, you good? Oh, I'm real good. good. Thank you. Really good. <laughs> you still playing with that thing, are you, Thomas? Yeah. Stop, Gandalf. What's he talking about? Hey, Dad. Hello, darling. How are you? Good. Good to see you. He's getting yeah, a bit cheeky. Yeah, you know you... what that happens when they get older. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Look Bye after you. Thanks, Bye Pops. You. Bye, Appreciate Tom. Appreciate it. Bye, Dad. See you, Tom. See you. Love you, mate. Love you. Have see fun ya. this evening. Thanks, hey, Pops. You too. Look after Pops for me, won't you? All see right. ya. See Bye, ya. darling. Bye.
man of the day. I just thought of a really good idea. What about a big pirate film? And Dad, you can be the damsel in the stress, and Mom, you can be the hero. I think that's a great idea. And even Papa can be creepy. I don't think so, Tom. Last time I looked, I've got the biggest muscles in this family. And check out that beard. I'd make a great-looking pirate. Bye, Mum. Bye, Dad. Love you. Lad. Hmm. Yeah. As much as any of us can be, eh? Are you uh, shooting something, eh? I was following Mum and Dad. You, um, you do realize they've gone. Look up. Hey. It's my turn. It's my turn. No, it's my turn. Come on. Can't you get your hand in there? There we go. Okay. Right. Oh, that's going to be funny. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it's moving. One word. We'll bring Teddy into this one. <laughs> what, <laughs> what is, is that? that? Getting muddy and we're in the... <laughs> and we're... <laughs> E.T. No, no, not even close. <laughs> <laughs> not even close. Um, how would you do that? Because you like to get muddy. Um, and roll around in mud. And, and eat flies and slugs. And... And... Oh, <laughs> Oi, me! Who wrote that? Oh, that's a great place you've got there. Oh, Shrek! Tom, what are you and Popper up to, today? Well, actually, I'm, um, I'm finishing that Skyfire movie with Bobby. So what's that going to be about? Um, it's going to be about where David steals um, Bobby's teddy and then she has to get it back from him. And ray guns and beam me up body, body, <laughs> Bobby. No, nah, there's going to be lightsabers though, so quite futuristic. Lightsabers? Yeah. Use this, it's a tracker, it'll help you find him. What do I do? You gotta point it around and as you get closer it'll beep faster. Beep, beep. Come on, you gotta be more enthusiastic. To your left, use the controls. Beep, 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 beep. <gasps> the controls are down. <gasps> help me, help me, help me. Ah! James! All right, jump out, David. <laughs> All right, Scottish accent, go. James, come back. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, no. It's got me right up the jack. Say, help me, Greg. All right, you can feel something behind you. Now turn around and you're shot. <laughs> All right, grab your lightsaber. Quick, put it up. You can't have a saggy lightsaber. Hey, what? 
Ya no me duro. And hug him and spin around. Now speak in Spanish. Tell him that you love him. What a boy, to keep boy. This is why. All right, now pick up Grace. Oh, James, I love you so much. I know, honey, but I can't. I've just got too much on. Like what? Football. Oh, no. All right, I'll kiss you anywhere. All right, settle down, James. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be the last tag, right? <laughs> so you named your main characters after mum and dad, huh? Yeah, because then they sort of get saved at the end, so. And you really want to do this? Yeah. Oh. I want you to know that I'm here for you. I want to support you in everything you do. Okay, Tom? Thanks, it really means a lot to me. Welcome to the magic, girl. My hat. From my Productions. special hat. And that's my green screen. At least 20 bucks that cost. That is top awesome. of the art stuff. The next Peter Jackson. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've got a magazine cover wow. on view and it doesn't even say the next Peter Jackson. Look, I've got three Oscars. How many Oscars do you have? <laughs> Are they real? Dad! Yeah, don't buy them. Mm, it's just made in China, mate. <laughs> what? Seriously, subtle. Thank you, Bobby. Do you know her uh, real name? Nickname? Dad, not Dad, don't. Her nickname? Don't. It's Bobby Fluff Bubbles. <laughs> Love you, darling. Shall I go? God. Okay, seriously, all right. Have fun, you two. But not too much fun. Lee. Oh my God, Dad, go. I'm watching you. Lee. Dad. Seriously. Go. Goodbye. Why do you have a magazine of my dad? Just you know, the magazine's got some good pictures in it and stuff. So this is also another very special teddies. His name is Ballet. 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 Yeah. Take it out? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. The summer. Steven Spielberg presents a soul blaster for the classroom I opened world this morning. Simon Pegg as Chief Brody, and Petrie Asparagus as the victim. Yeah! Take your date out for a bite. You'll never stop me, Papa. Papa, look at Gecko. Oh, right. Um, Gecko, you're. Papa, Papa, he's supposed to have an Italian accent. Hmm? Gecko, you'll never stop me before the train smashes into the stazione at the full speed. <laughs> How was that? Papa, stop looking at the camera. And way less over the top, and take your glasses off too. Okay, fine. So, what you're saying is you want me to pull it back a bit? Yeah, perfect. Okay. And action. Hey, Gecko. You'll never stop me 
before the train smashes into the station at full speed. <laughs> Tommy, who's going to be doing the voice for Gecko? You are, Bob. You dastardly devil, would you? Oh, hang on, I can't read it without my glasses. <clears throat> this time with a higher voice. A higher voice? Do you realise my voice broke when I was ten? I don't know if I can. You dastardly devil! What's to stop me from shooting you between the eyes right now? <clears throat> because... Because... If you do, my men will hear the shot and <coughs> and they will throw your wife Grace from the roof of the train. Save me, oh! Save me from this horrid, horrid person. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> Thomas, tell me something. Why did you name Gecko's wife after your mother? Because Gecko gets to save her. What did you think of the film, Mum? I thought Papa was a little bit over the top, as always. Are you talking to your mum and dad again? Yeah, Mum said you're over the top, as always. What else did they say? They said they miss you, Papa. It's time you put your toys away and brushed your teeth ready for bed. All right, sunshine? Good night, sunshine. Night, Papa. Love you. Love you too. Hey, Papa. Yeah? I think you're better played as the hero. Well, you are my hero, Tommy. Good night. Night. This is uh, and we'll be doing show and tell. Who's first? Hi, um, I'm Bobby. Bobby. <laughs> I'm Bobby Chaplin. Um, 
I've kind of been surrounded by film my whole life, so it just mm. seemed like a, a natural progression to study at uni. Um, I'm not really sure what I want to do after this, but hopefully by the time we graduate, I will have figured it out. Oh, wizard. Inspirational. Hello. This summer, me and my family went to Europe. Where in Europe? Hong Kong. Hello, my friends. My name's Bella, and I'm going to be a filmmaker. <laughs> I'm Tom Kazan. <clears throat> and I'm going to win an Academy Award by the age of 23. <laughs> hey, Bella, do you even know what a camera is? I do. I do. I swear. Sorry, I was late, lovers. Hi, my name's Amelia Reid, and... I want to be a writer. <gasps> hey, uh, do you know who directed this one? I have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> Awkward. Yeah. I'm Tom, by the way. Amelia. It's nice to meet you, Amelia. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> nice to meet you. Good morning. My name is Professor Hughes, and this is History of Cinema. If you're looking for Stats 101, this is your opportunity to stand up and awkwardly walk out. No? Good. All right, we have a lot to get through this semester, so before we begin, I'm going to find out what you already know. Who's going to prove themselves to be king of the film geeks? by telling me who directed this 1922 German classic, Nosferatu. Mm. Macaulay Culkin look-alike at the back. Alfred Hitchcock. No. Anybody else? Better guess. Yes, you and the beanie. F. W. Murnau? Good. Murnau, but yeah, you're correct. Okay, let's get into it, shall we? This is Nosferatu. It's a 1922 German classic, and it's got vampires in. <laughs> hey, folks. Hiya, Sunshine. Nice to see you using that old thing again. <laughs> Haven't used it for a while. When you last had that, you could see your folks down through that lens, couldn't you? Can you still see them? Uh, yes, sometimes. Not as much, but mm. sometimes. I still see them. We'll see them at that door the night they left. So happy. That policeman who came came to tell us. Poor bugger. What a job to have to do, eh? I wasn't too kind to him, was I? I say time heals, but doesn't, does it? Just gives you more space to cope, I suppose, but that's about all. So, are you using this at uh, film school at the moment? Uh, it's... Don't know if they'll let me use it at school. It's a bit old now. <laughs> a bit old school, eh? A bit old school. Yeah. I've almost finished my Sirenia script. Sirenia? Wow. It takes me back. I've got a role in it, based on you, after all. Seriously? <laughs> well, I am flattered. It's a bit different to the old one I showed you. Uh -huh. The titties, but... <laughs> it's, uh, it's, uh, it's almost there. Crikey, I can remember that. Yeah? Yeah. So it's more grown up now. It is it? a little bit. But, uh, <laughs> it's uh, 
you know, that was always mum and dad's favourite of my films. Yeah. yeah. Well, mine too. Mine too. I, uh, <clears throat> I hear there's uh, a new writer on the scene. I have you. I have, okay. yes. I had a word the other day, just by chance. With Amelia. Bobby. Amelia, yes. From Bobby, yes. Yes. Tell me about Amelia. <sighs> she's a girl. Uh, <laughs> she's, a, she's a writer. She's the only writer I like to work with. To be honest, she's she's really cool. I think you'd like her. If you like her, I'm sure I will like her. Open your eyes. Open. What's this? It's an apple. Okay. <laughs> so. Sirenia. Sirenia. Mm. It's. Actually, it's the script that I've been working on since I was about 12, actually. I've been having a little trouble with some of the descriptions at the end. Mm -hmm. And I was wondering if you could lend me your dulcet tones to voice <laughs> the words and see if it sounds Yeah, right. sure. So you want me to go yeah, to the end? Just... How about this pause? Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. Thank you. Okay, so it's the beach at sunset. Yep. Do you want me to put on a voice? All right. Okay. <clears throat> the young boy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like some teen scones with that, Miss Hepburn? I'd love some, thank you. <laughs> okay. The young boy takes his grandfather by the hand. He's trembling. A knowing look is exchanged between the two of them. They take a step through the painting and enter the magical world of Sirenia. Sirenia is a never-ending beach filled with magical creatures and pirates. Giant dragonflies, unicorns and guardian angels fill the land as the many planets and a million stars fill the heavens. His father and mother are there waiting with arms open wide. It's very sweet. You like it? Is the beach a special place for you? Mm, not so much the beach, I just I think it'll look cinematic on film. Okay. But that's all you can read for now. Please, Tom, can I read some more? <laughs> this is in high demand. Oh, you're giving me your puppy. <laughs> okay, yeah, you can read it. You can rewrite it if you like. <laughs> Give it a wee read. Glass, are you? Dinner, I think. Okay. Bobby, Pops, come back. Shh. 
sorry, did you want me to go right the way up there? No, just, you see your mark there? But so wouldn't, wouldn't I keep going? And Bobby. Again. You have been a very naughty boy, Mr. Jean. <laughs> My friends call me Long John. My lovers call me Big John. You can call me BJ. Oh, Mr. Jean, you naughty, naughty boy. <laughs> and what is your name, lassie? Tom, what's my name? What do you mean, what's your name? I mean, what's my character's name? Just make one up. <laughs> okay. You're creative. How about Amelia? I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. My name is Felicity Beauvoir, but you can call me Fifi. <laughs> my turn to laugh. Why are you here? I think we're meant to fight, aren't we? Big punch. Nice. Stab, stab again. Again. Straight up the jacksy. My name is Big. John, and don't you forget it, lass. Um, John, it is such a good job today. I was a bit worried that you wouldn't look good on camera. Incidentally, tell me. Tell me about... Are you still recording? Yeah, this is B-roll. <laughs> I was late to our lecture after the one where he met Amelia because I was wiping the drool off the desk. <laughs> Oh. It was very unhygienic and unsanitary. When do we get to meet right. her? Hmm? Would you? When do we get to meet She's her? She's coming up for dinner. When? Huh? Where's my Am I house? cooking? Are you cooking? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> you better be cooking. <laughs> so I've been hatching my final question for the night. Uh, okay. <laughs> He's been rehearsing this for years. <laughs> okay. So you have two options. And... First one is so every night you go to bed for the rest of your life, you have a teddy. Yes. But but option A is a giant tarantula, and option <laughs> B is a um, uh, giant spider. With okay, <laughs> the spider or the tarantula? Oh no no no, uh, snake, giant snake. Oh giant snake, snake yeah, yeah. now. Oh. Oh, well, mm. I would have taken the snake because they're far less nasty. Oh, no, no, no. It's like, a, it's like a vicious ass snake. They yeah. scoot away. No, too late. Too late. Sorry. <laughs> the ideas you have talking a little bit. How does, uh, how's that uh, project of yours going? A Sarinthium. <laughs> yeah, that one. <laughs> yeah. Actually, the shoot went really well, and we brought it along to show you tonight, if you'd like. Brilliant, brilliant. Yeah. I'd love to see it. Great. Yeah, we used to do a lot of films together when we were younger. Really? Yeah, well, when he was younger, I've always been old. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> always. I starred in them all. Did you know that? No, Tom never told me. <laughs> I was the hero in all the adventure stories, yeah. although in the cowboys, I was always the villain. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, I would love to see them. <laughs> yeah. Yes. You know what, Tom? <laughs> what? This young lady reminds me of your mother at the same age. Hey. You talking to me? I said, are you talking to me? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Talking to me? Are you talking to me? Huh? Are you talking to me? Ooh. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you come oh. into my house? <laughs> Look at this. Oh, I can definitely see what he sees in you, but I'm blown if I know what uh, you see in him. <laughs> <laughs> How about we go and see that film, eh? Hmm? 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 <laughs> Can I show you something? You may. No, I don't want to show you anymore. Okay. <laughs> show me. Okay, ready? Yeah. You can't look though. It's really? a big surprise. Oh. Yeah. 
It's okay. Me. It's that. <laughs> your, just stay perfect. Okay. Over uh, uh, uh. Okay, okay, okay. Can I take it off now? No, 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 no. Be patient, little one. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> mm, mm. Are you ready? <laughs> yes. I like it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm, yeah. I'm bringing scuba into fashion. Mm. I'm a trendsetter. I am. <laughs> and you're here. Oh. This is what I wanted to show you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> is this one? Uh, yeah. We have one of our one of our cast members. Oh. Mm. He was the one who led the. The Lovely uprising with the Actors Union of Teddy Bears, because <laughs> I was such a grumpy director. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I'm bad working conditions. <laughs> Is that your dad? <laughs> you look like him. Thanks. No worries. This is, um, this is actually the film that I'm gonna make when I leave school. Really? Hmm. You should definitely do it. Definitely? Yeah. Most certainly. <laughs> I've actually, you know, started the casting process and been having a lot of trouble trying to cast uh, you know, an actress. Oh, really? Mm, they're beautiful. Mm-hmm. They're just stunning. And I need, like, a really, really, really average looking, you know, almost mannish oh, yeah. <clears throat> person to play this role and that's why you know i wanted to ask you if you would i'm flattered Mm, mm, you should be (laughs) i accept I can't believe you've never seen this before. Aren't you meant to be some kind of big shot? Sure. <laughs> I'm disappointed. You give me a break, will you? You're pretty much old enough to have oh. made this film, aren't you? Oh. <laughs> when did you first see it? Oh, I saw it when I was like 10. Yeah, I remember Dad showed it to me. Do you think you can handle one of these? These are screenplays. The producers and I think you're ready. It's time for you to direct your first full-length motion picture, Tom. What? The studio managed to convince that you're worth backing. What? what whatever, man. It's the truth. Yeah. Absolute okay. truth. You want me to direct a feature that will screen in cinemas and absolutely you're willing to risk your pro- the, how do your producers do they know who I am I sold you to them and they've bought it still that's that's huge thank you have you read these yeah, I've read most of them they're not too bad they're not Tarantino but they're a start Thomas Couple yeah alright I like that one. That's cool. Based on the name, of course. And Land of the Long White Cloud. A Maori sci-fi. <laughs> That's new. That sounds fun. Metropolis meets the Maori, maybe. Power Wars. Power Wars, yeah. Patrick. Yeah. <laughs> <Kia ora bro. laughs> so when would I start? Your problem. I have to go overseas. Okay. Um, 
You know Bobby's dead. David Shetlin. Producer? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's, he's given me a directing job on a big feature film. And, uh, I have to leave tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. Oh. 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 What about Amelia? Is she going with you? She's she's staying here. Oh dear. Mm, what about Cyrene? Cyrene is staying as well. You gonna be okay? I'll cope. I mean, it's what Cyrene is for, isn't it? Eh? Obviously, we're talking about Land of the Long White Cloud. Huge film. Yeah, huge. Within the space of a year, you've gone from film school graduate to world famous director. How are you finding this newfound attention from the critics and your fans? Your friends and family. How are they dealing with your success? They're coping, I guess. How do you think this quick introduction to fame is affecting you personally? Um, I got everything I ever wanted. Hello, sunshine. I hope this letter finds you well. <laughs> it's become increasingly hard to get in contact with the great Tom Kazan. <laughs> I saw your film, by the way. It was wonderful. Although I still am fond of our little movies, there was so much fun. It's hard to believe how far you've come. To me, you're still the cheeky little boy who wouldn't go anywhere without his camera. Which reminds me, I do hope to find Cyrenia on the big screen someday soon. I just... I just want you to know how proud I am of you. And your parents would be too. But I do worry as to whether you're coping well with all this newfound attention. <laughs> I 
don't know how you do it. As for me, I'm okay. Well, I've been better. I've been in and out of hospital, but they can't hold down Big John. <laughs> anyway, I hope London is treating you well. Say hi to David and Bobby for me, won't you? I do hope that you come to visit in the holidays. It's been a while. Love always. Pops. Well done, Thomas. Tom. It is Tom now, as you can see from the credits. Tom Kazan. Tom Kazan. <laughs> Tom Kazan. So where did you come up with the idea for... What's the... Sirenia. Sirenia, Mum and Dad. Sirenia. And in a couple of years, everyone in the world will know that name. Everyone. And you guys are the first to see it. Do the monkey. I guess the film just took off in a way that none of us thought it could and got really big really fast. Which I guess is why they gave me the project. You know, I, I just wasn't really prepared for the fame and recognition that came along with it. Um, I'd always wanted to be a big director, like Spielberg or Scorsese. Um, but I never really thought of the consequence or the price tag that comes along with it, I guess. Dr. Wells? Hmm. You all right? Tim. Oh, uh, it's Tom. <sighs> Let me stop you there just for a moment, if I may, Tim. Um, you've been coming here for three or four weeks now. And we sit here for an hour every Wednesday between three and four. And I hear you talk about how fame has affected you. Oh, wow, poor me, I can't buy my apples. You know, I can't go to the theater anymore. It's... <sighs> Let me just ask you this. What's the problem? 
nothing nothing you say to me seems like a negative it, it, it all seems great what do you need what does tim need you got a nice car you dress well nice house huh women money oh it's it's not perfect like that isn't it well what's perfect i don't know i guess let me give you the answer Even diamonds are flawed. Let me write that down. Why are you writing that down? I may use it with my next client. Well, I went to my house where my grandfather was living in. Did you? Yeah. It must have been hard. I saw the younger, younger version of myself there. Actually there? Well, it wasn't actually there, but, you know... Is that yeah? Is that very happen? common? It is it's very common. Yeah. So I went upstairs. Uh, I followed him into my old bedroom. Did he lead you to where you used to keep the old magazines? Well, I my room was packed up as well. Did you write magazines? Yeah. Well, they weren't magazines. This wasn't about you. I actually um, I found my old camera in one of the boxes. I like how I told you last time how I used to use the camera to see my parents. Um, but obviously, I couldn't this time. How make you feel? Um, a bit guilty, I guess. What are you guilty about? The fact you murdered them? <laughs> well, I didn't... I didn't murder my mum and dad. You didn't murder your parents? No. Oh. Oh, you're Tom. So sorry, Tim. It's sorry when you keep calling me Tim. Murderer. Okay. Uh, keep going. Know, don't know where to go from there. Now, is Amelia you? Is she me? Do you have a connection with someone called Amelia? Yes. Ah, yes, that's right. Me. Okay. Amelia is Tom. How did that go? Did you call her? Did you reconnect as you said you would? So, have you uh, heard from Amelia lately? Not really. Why? Just come up with some back now. I might try to get back in touch with her. Mm. What? Just smile. <laughs> yeah, well. I just think it's in the past, yeah? I don't know, he didn't leave on very good terms, I guess, so... Yeah, I don't see why that means I can't talk to her. It's not like he really did anything. I did what anyone else would do in my situation. I did what you did. Yes, but I didn't leave without saying goodbye to my girlfriend. Mm. I mean, you've been talking about Serenia for so long. And then it kind of became a part of her life, too. And it meant a lot to both of you, and then... Yes, you had this opportunity, but you kind of just forgot about Serenia and kind of forgot about Amelia too. It kind of been a great feeling for her. I'm sorry. You've just been helpful in your rude kind of way. <laughs> Thanks. And I'm just being nice and mine. In your <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should be a bit more like Bella. He seemed to do pretty well for himself. <laughs> Bella. Bella. Not this one. <sighs> oh, you mean Petrie? Petrie. Do you even know what a camera is? I do. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be a filmmaker. Look <laughs> how that turned out. Turned out good for Billy. This is worse. Has it changed at all? 
you believe me if I told you I painted this? No. Not even for like a millionth of a second. Do you believe that Pops painted this? All of them? It was actually pretty good actor too. Never told him that. It's actually really good. Put that with me. Yeah, we all had to do that. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> I was pretty excited to see Serena. Do you think you'll make it? Hey, Tom. Hey, David. Good to see you, buddy. Hey, you too. Welcome. Yeah. Hey, I've got someone really special I'd like you to meet. Business partner of mine, Peter Bergman. Tom, hi. Hey, hey, Peter. Can I get you a drink? Uh, no, no, I'm fine, thank you. Listen, Tom, we've got something really exciting we'd like to talk to you about. Take a seat. So that's the offer, Tom. It's a, it's a big step up, I know, but we loved your film. We think you'd be a good fit. Tom, this is an amazing opportunity. We're really excited for you. Take the time to think about it. Camera rolling and action. Hey, Stephen. Cut. 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 Stephen. Um, oh, hey, Stephen. <laughs> is it? Hey, what's his name? I think it is. What's his name? Hey, hi, hi, Tom. I'm, 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 I'm JJ. JJ? Yeah. <laughs> JJ. 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 I'm just <laughs> so new. I'm new. Uh, I'm Stephen. Stephen. Yeah. How's it going? George. George. All right, so we got JJ, yeah. Stephen, and George. Coincidence, okay. <laughs> so, uh, how's it going? What are you guys doing? Oh, we're just filming a stupid little uni film, eh? Little yeah, uni film? What yeah. yeah, cool. What year are you guys? Oh, I'm in my second year. Okay, me so too. So you're almost up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're in the same class. Oh, um, cool, cool, cool. George is just our mate, but um, he's got an amazing just zombie role. <laughs> did you hear the zombie role? Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> what was the thought process behind this wig? <laughs> so, my mum's like, stole it from my closet. Yeah. Why does your mum have a wig in her closet? It's kind of weird. <laughs> I don't know. Does your mum have a wig in her closet? Like nah. No, no. um, <laughs> so do you guys? Um, you guys been here all day? Like, what are you oh, planning on doing? What are you well, shooting? yeah, we're, we're shooting the opening scene at the moment. We've been filming since like last Tuesday. But all right, sweet. Yeah, it looks good, guys. Well, um, hey, like, you guys want a hand or anything? <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Oh, bro, that that'd would be, be amazing. Awesome. Yeah? Awesome. Yeah. yeah, sweet. All right, well, let's take money. Uh, usually costs about a mil per day. Happy to cut down three hundred thousand. Like friends and family discount. I'll talk to my agent. <laughs> cool. All right. What should we do? What do you? What do you? What scene are we doing? Well, I'm about to kill George. Maybe you could help me kill him. I can help you kill George. You could wear the wig if you want. Yeah, nah. So this time, like when we do it, if you can just like yell out, like um, if you just yell out, like ah. Oh, you evil, like, beast from the sky! And just keep just doing your screaming, like, your massive thing. Is that what if I jump kick him or something? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. fine. Camera rolling, and action! Beast from the sky! <laughs> when you get to heaven, say hi to my dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can I just get you deep? <laughs> Thanks All so right. much. Cheers, <laughs> man. Oh, they were yeah. uncomfortable. Alright. Oh. Spielberg. <laughs> it's delicious. Cheers, man.
Mr. Abrams. Oh, thank oh, you so much, right. man. Sweet. Cheers, you know. Cat. Bam! I found my old camera. You remember, you remember the old camera I used to carry around? Yes. Yeah. You barely left it. I know, exactly. <laughs> um, I thought I'd lost it, but Pops had kept it hidden. Yeah. I was looking through the old footage on it, and I found found an old sci-fi that you, Bobby, and I made. Ah. Do you remember that one? You played the villain? <laughs> yeah, How could I forget? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my. An Oscar-winning performance. Yeah, <laughs> sorry for that. It's <laughs> okay. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to... The reason I wanted to talk to you was... Um, I also remember on that day... I remember you sat me down afterwards. And I remember you telling me that I did a good job. And... Uh, that if I was serious about being a filmmaker, that I should, you know, tell him wasn't going to get me all the way. I had to work hard like you did. You know, and I really, I really appreciated that. Something to thank you. you know. Tom, you're more than welcome. But also, you know, since, since Pop's passed away, it's, I've really had a chance to think about things. Mm -hmm. Um, I thought I should really start appreciating people like you more you know, who have been there for me since day one really motivated me so I wanted to apologise that I haven't you know shown that Tom I have really fond memories of you when you were a little tyke you used to get inside your imagination let it go wild and your creative side would just flourish just create these whole new worlds they're incredible and the joy the passion you got from telling everyone about these things and for the life of me i can't remember the name of that place it was um sirenia sirenia that's the <laughs> wow <laughs> i need to remember that sirenia wow. i used to love hearing about it sirenia it's um it's actually the reason why i've come here today Tom, you turned down a lot of big projects yes. <laughs> in order to do this film. People were asking questions. What was he thinking? Mm. What do you say to those kind of questions? I say, go and watch the film <laughs> and decide for yourself. <laughs> It was um, a project that you came up with as a child as well, wasn't it? Yes. Serenia. How do you take something that is essentially a home video and turn it into something that is worthy of the big screen? Uh, I mean, well, it's, it really started when I was a kid uh, with my parents and my titties. Uh, and I think as I grew up, uh, in my, I think as my grandfather became more of an influence in my life, um, it really took a different shape as I went through film school and became more or less what it is today. So Sirenia has developed as you have developed. This is your world that you've created. Is it quite daunting knowing that you're inviting an entire audience in to see that? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just like welcoming people into my house.
Billy based on what you want your life to be? No. Nah. What do you want to be? A director. But I don't want to be left alone. Why? Because being alone is sad. And I don't like being sad. Very much. What about them? Um, I miss how they're not there for me anymore. And yep. Yeah. I miss them too, you know. Everyone misses them. If they were still alive now, do you think that they'd be proud of you? They were always proud of me, no matter what I did. I noticed that you talk to your parents through the camera. Because they're in Sirenia. And I'll go there too one day. <laughs>